Hello everyone, Jonathan here from Triple M Games, and welcome to the first video tutorial on how to make a Space Invaders clone. In this video, we'll be downloading the Godot game engine, creating the project folder structure, as well as basic Godot settings. Let's get started! First, open up the web browser of your choice, and navigate to godotengine.org. In the top right, you'll see a Downloads button. Click it. Then download the version that you want to use. I'll be using the standard 64-bit version for this tutorial series. Click Save As, and then OK to close the pop-up window. The Godot game engine is enough to get started, but we'll also need the export templates if we want to export the game to other platforms later. Scroll down the page to Export Template Standard, and click it. Click Save As, and then OK to close the pop-up like you did before. Now that we have the Godot game engine downloaded, it's time to create our project folder structure. For this tutorial, I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop, but I'd recommend that you create your folder somewhere more organized. I named my folder Godot Invaders. Inside of Godot Invaders, I created a folder named Invaders Project, and another called Godot Editor. Let's copy the two files we downloaded and paste them into the Godot Editor folder. You'll notice that the Godot engine is inside of a zip folder. Right-click and press Open in New Window. Now you should have two windows open. Move your windows so that you can see them side by side. Drag the Godot engine file into your Godot editor folder. Once that is done, you can delete the zip file. Now we are ready to create our Godot project. Double-click the Godot executable we just extracted. You will see a Please Confirm pop-up if this is the first time opening Godot. Just click Cancel to close the pop-up. On the far right, you have a few buttons labeled Scan, New Project, and Import. Scan will open a file manager so you can check if Godot projects exist in other folders. New Project lets you create a Godot project in a selected folder. We'll want this option. Click the New Projects button. You'll see a few options here. Project name is the name that Godot will use to list in the Project Manager window, and some other project setting areas too. Project Path is the folder that we're going to use for the Godot project files. Below these options are two rendering features that Godot uses for graphic settings. I'm going to use OpenGL ES 2.0, since I don't need any powerful special effects. Also, some mobile devices might struggle to load OpenGL ES 3.0. Next to Project Path, click the Browse button to open the file manager. At first, it might open to a weird directory, so to make things easier, you can open your computer's default file manager, then copy the path to your desktop's Invader Project folder. Notice that the project name changed to match the selected folder. I like to add files to the end of the project name, Click Create Folder, Delete Files from the end of the name, then click Create and Edit at the bottom left of the pop-up window. The Godot editor will create the needed project files, and then open the editor. For now, in the Scene tab, left top panel, click 2D Scene. You'll notice that the name changed to Node 2D, and that the viewport swapped from a 3D grid to a 2D view mode. Rename Node2D by double-clicking, or right-click, then click Rename. Change the name to Main Menu. Now it's time to save the scene. In the top left corner of the Editor window, you'll see a few buttons labeled Scene, Project, Debug, Editor, and Help. Click the Scene button, then click Save Scene As. A Godot file manager pop-up will appear. There should be nothing here except a hidden import folder. In the top right of this window, click Create Folder. Name this folder Assets. To speed this process up, you can right-click and then click New Folder to do the same steps but less mouse moving. Name this folder Scenes. Create another folder named Menus. We want to go back up to the Scenes folder again. You can left-click in the path bar at the top left of the file manager, and delete Menus, then 
press the Enter key. Or, beside the path bar, click the up arrow icon. Now we should be back in the Scenes folder, and the Menus folder should be on screen. Create a new folder and name it Levels. Again, navigate back to the Scenes folder, then go into the Menus folder. In the bottom of the File Manager, enter in Main Menu into the File text bar. Then, to the right of that is a drop-down that says All Recognized with some extensions. Click and select the .tscn. Then, click Save in the bottom middle of the File Manager window. The File Manager pop-up should close and the scene will be saved. Let's change some project settings. In the top left, click Project. Then, click Project Settings. Here, we will have a lot of settings to mess around with, but let's focus on rendering and display for now. Click Use Pixel Snap. Then, click the drop-down for Frame Buffer a location. Change it from 3D to 2D, and below that for Mobile, select 2D without sampling. Now we can click on the Window Settings. Here we will choose the window size for our game. Set Width to 256 and Height to 224. Change Test Width to 512 and Test Height to 448. This will make the window larger without changing the app resolution. Scroll all the way to the bottom and change Mode to 2D and Aspect to Keep. This concludes Episode 1. In the next video, we will focus on making the main menu and some script files. Thank you for watching, and check the description for download links to the GitHub project, as well as keep an eye out on this YouTube playlist for more videos in the future.